Hi, and welcome to The Pulse. I'm Jen Dines, and I'm the director of Get Real, the youth media program here at Metro East. And hi, I am Seth. I am down to get down with Get Real. <laughs> Metro East is your local community media station. We're here to provide training and technology to make media accessible so everyone has an opportunity to share his or her voice. We work with youth of all ages throughout the year. We teach them how to write, plan, shoot, and edit. And what's really cool is the skills they gain by facing these challenges together as a creative team. And they get to make a movie. Today we are here to tell you about the Advanced Pow Girls Camp at Metro East this summer. Advanced Pow Girls was incredible. A small group of high school girls made two professional quality videos in one week. Mm -hmm. Professional is the right word. The girls crafted the two videos for our partner, the Portland Kitchen. The Portland Kitchen is one of our favorite partners at Metro East. Portland Kitchen teaches high school students how to cook and the life skills that come with cooking. Oh yeah! <laughs> so good. We know you love food, Seth. I do. I think the Advanced Pal Girls is a great story about partnerships at Metro East. These alliances with other nonprofits benefit the community in many ways. Really? How so? For example, Advanced Pal Girls is the result of a three way partnership between Metro East, Pal Girls, and the Portland Kitchen. We all contributed time and resources to the camp. The girls had a real life learning experience in professional filmmaking and the Portland Kitchen got two videos that they really need. I'd definitely say that. We have a tasty treat for you now. A video showing some behind the scenes footage of the girls hard at work, as well as some clips from the excellent finished piece they put together for the Portland Kitchen. Yeah, let's roll the clip. The Portland Kitchen sets the table for successful futures by teaching culinary techniques, social skills, and healthy disciplines that last a lifetime. I really love the Portland Kitchen. It gives a lot of opportunity. I've learned communication skills, time management skills. In high school, if I was in a group project, I could pretty much just do it by myself or let the other people do it, and then not a lot of bad things will happen. But in here, it's like, this is, it, I, I have my job and I have to do it. If I don't do it, the dish falls apart. If you like food, you should join. Cooking is kind of like a motto for, for life. Things go wrong um, and you have to roll with it. You know, your cookies get burned, the souffle falls, um, but you learn from those mistakes and, and the next time you go to do it, you're just a little bit better. Having people believe in me thinking that I can do really beautiful cooking, which I can now. Sweet. Make a film and eat great food. That is like the ultimate summer camp. I kind of wish I had that in high school. <laughs> Absolutely. We all worked hard and had fun and amazing things happened in just a few days. So Seth, what was your favorite part of Pal Girls Camp? Uh, you know, I'd have to say it was seeing all those determined young women make this excellent quality film. It was great. Yes. We will be hosting four more POW Girls camps in 2016. To learn more about Get Real, please visit our website. That's it for Get Real. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on The, the Pulse. Pulse.